Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for making this venture club good. Thank you for everybody to go and add their goals. After venture club goals. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you for making the world. Jesus, name, amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, everyone, you could sit down. We're going to have our devotion. Now, we want to get a little excited in here today. I have a story to tell you. Are you ready for the story? Nobody's ready for the story? No? I want to ask some yeses. Anyways, our Bible text today is taken from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 14 to 16. What book did I say? Very good. So you're listening. So once you're listening, I'm good. And y'all will be good with me too. So stand strong with the belt of truth tied around your waist. Where's, where's the belt supposed to be tied around? Right, your waist. Right? And on your chest... Wear the protection of right living. And on your feet, wear the good news of peace to help you stand strong. And also use the shield of faith. The shield of what? All right. So you're listening. With that, you can stop all the burning arrows. Only one I can stop? All the burning arrows of the evil one. Okay? So that's our text for today. As we go into our story, my brother is an army medic in a far away country helping to care for the wounded and the sick people right on the front line of a terrible war. He sends an email when he is not too busy and tells me about seeing bombs exploding when he goes into the battle to find soldiers who've been hurt. He says for me not to worry about him, but <laughs> that one? he says for me not to worry about him, but I do. Last Monday, he wrote something strange. He asked me how I was doing in the battlefield. I told him, I don't have a battlefield. And he wrote back, yes, you do. You are at war with Satan. I asked my dad what he meant. Your brother is right. He said, we are at war. Satan is trying to destroy your life. God, while God is trying to make them better. S Satan tempts us to do things that will hurt us, while God, through our conscience, is working hard to keep us safe. It's called the great controversy. Did you know that? Yes, it's called the great controversy, guys. And it has been raging for a long time. You mean I'm like a scolder, like Scotty? I asked. Yes, Dad responded. We all fight in our own war. Whose side are you on? You see, God's government runs on freedom of choice and love. He does not believe in cheating, hurting people, lying, and disrespect. So he doesn't believe in cheating, hurting people, lying, and disrespect. He says to love him first and to serve him only. Who should we serve? Who should we serve? Right, God. Then love those around us, treating them with respect and care. 
On the other hand, that continued, Satan hates you and is responsible for your misery. He wants you to have fun with drugs, smoking, and alcohol. He wants to rule your mind. Hmm. God and Satan are fighting for control over your life and my life and your future. To help you overcome sin, Jesus sends the Holy Spirit and loving angels to guide and protect you. That afternoon, I wrapped a yellow ribbon around the tree in front of my yard, like all the Americans do, to tell everyone that I've got a brother fighting for our country. Then I placed another yellow ribbon below the first. I'm a soldier in God's army, fighting Satan in the great controversy. My brother and I are proud to serve. All right. And that's the end of our story. So anyone remember what the story was about? No one remembers what the story about? Who was fighting a war? Right, his brother, and he had the brother was in a war in one of the countries, and his dad told him that he was also fighting a war. He was also fighting a war too. But what kind of war was he fighting? Yes, a spiritual war, right? And who are the two persons that are fighting for our hearts? God and Satan, yes, they're fighting for our hearts. And who should we co give control to? Who do we want to take control of our lives? Yes, God, yes. Now, what are some of now? I need all of you boys and girls to tell me what are some things you can do to fight Satan's temptations at school, home, or church? So, what can you do to fight Satan's temptations? What are some of the things that you could do? Who? You raise your hand? No? What are, yes, what are some of the things that you could do? Okay, yes, read the Bible. That's very good. Sorry? I, be obedient. That's very good. I like that. So we have be obedient. Read your Bible. What else? Pray. Very good. So we're coming. We're getting strong here. Well, give me another one. Pray, read your Bible, and be obedient. What else? Amen. don't steal very good don't steal so i'm getting it by the tools yes praying yes having respect yes yes Chase. wow very good i like that obey your mother and your father for your life will be long on this earth very good i am loving it i'm loving it so this week as we go into this again, as we have our induction service, just remember, guys, that God loves you and he wants you and he wants you to be on his side. So choose to be on his side this week. All right. Did you enjoy the story? Yes. That's good. Good evening, little soldiers. 